Hi guys, it's Dave here at the Humble Trekker channel. How are you doing today? I'm sure you've seen on the news the crowds in China wearing face masks to protect themselves from the coronavirus. Question, do face masks actually protect you from the coronavirus? The best advice, the best recommendation from public authorities, government bodies, clinical research is that yes, face masks will protect you from the coronavirus if it is the correct type of face mask. And in this video, I'm gonna go through what is actually the correct type of face mask. However, the best advice is avoid contact with infected people, avoid crowds. The coronavirus travels through the air via coughs and sneezes and splutters of infected people and it will travel on the fluid, the liquid, the small particles, uh, droplets that come out of the mouth and the nose and will travel through the air and then it could hit you or could hit any, anybody else. These particles is believed can travel about one meter. Some research shows that can travel up to six, eight meters. So what the mask is actually doing is protecting your nose and your mouth from these particles, these droplets with virus in entering your nose and your mouth. Remember, there's other ways apart from just the cough and the splutter that the virus particle can get to you. If you touch a surface with a virus on and your hands and then you bring your hands to your mouth, your nose, your eyes, you can transfer the virus that way. If you're wearing a mask, you've been out with a mask on and then you come home or you get to wherever you're gonna to get to, you grab the mask with your fingertips, the front of the mask, that mask could be covered in virus. And then when you grab it and put it off, your fingers in there could be covered in virus. So important to remember, there's a correct procedure to remove the mask to reduce the uh, consequence of getting virus on your fingertips and then immediately afterwards, wash your hands. In fact, if you're in a suspicious area where you're worried, wash your hands frequently and thoroughly. So far in this video, I've talked about masks, but there's actually a difference between masks and respirators. What I generally speak in everyday language, you just call them a mask. This is what I would call a mask commonly, but it's actually technically known as a respirator. This is a mask, a medical clinical mask. This is a type of mask you see a lot of people in China walking around with. I'm not demonstrating how to put it on now, I'm just gonna put it on quickly so you can see it. This mask will not protect you from the coronavirus. There are too many gaps at the chin and the nose to protect you from droplets getting in, plus the material is not of a high enough grade of filter. This is to stop you infecting other people. If you want to protect yourself, you need to get yourself an FFP free standard respirator. This is an example of an FFP free mask made by Zekla, a Swedish company. FFP stands for face filter protection and it comes in different levels. FFP is the European standard. If you're in the US, you'll be following different standards. They have masks called N95 and N100. The N100 mask is equivalent to an FFP3 European mask. N95 is equivalent to an FFP2 mask. I make this distinction because some recommendations are for an N95 mask. My research leads me to believe that FFP3 is the minimum standard you should be going for, and that should be N100 in the US. FFP3 will filter 99% of 0.3 micron diameter particles. N95 will only filter 95%. So N95 is not equivalent to FFP3. N100 is much closer to FFP3. It's actually better, slightly better. That will filter 99.97 against 99% on the FFP3. The European standard FFP2 will filter 94%. So that's actually much closer to the American N95. The takeaway is get yourself an FFP free mask. That's the quality that's gonna give you the best protection. If you're in the States, get yourself an N100 mask. Putting on the mask is important. How it's put on, if it's not correctly uh, worn, it will not give you the maximum protection potential. On good quality masks from good manufacturers like Zekla, they'll have instructions on the outside of the mask how to put it on. These aren't always clear, they're like pictograms. Go to the website or the YouTube channel of the manufacturer of the mask you have to get specific instructions how to put on your mask. Disclaimer, I'm not showing you today how to put this mask on in the correct way. I'm not trained. I'm just giving you the information, the research I've done, the basic knowledge. You're gonna to have to make your own 
uh, research on the mask that you purchased to make sure you put it on and you take it off in the correct manner. The basic procedure of this mask is that you, you cap it up against your chin and then you tighten it using the aluminium strip across the nose so you get a tight fit across the nose. That's the basic procedure. Once again, go to the website of the manufacturer of the mask you've got to get the real deal. This is an FFP2 mask. You see FFP2, which would be N95 in the States, they're also robust respirator type masks. This is an FFP3. They're marked on the mask FFP3 or FFP2. So don't just see a respirator like this, assume it's FFP3. This looks a lot like an FFP3, but it's not. This is just FFP2. If you're at all concerned about the uh, Corona virus pandemic or any type of pandemic, pick yourself up some FFP3 masks. Go to a reputable dealer, get a little bit of advice there and make sure you get from a good brand like Zekla, made in Sweden. Um, people are gouging the market at the moment for masks. There's a global shortage of uh, all types of protective equipment. So watch out, make sure you don't get ripped off. Go to a decent dealer who won't rip you off. Don't get a mask just for yourself. Make sure if you've got a family, you can have a mask for everybody in the household. Until the next time, take it easy and uh, protect yourself and your loved ones.